What is up, everybody? Mike Eater Panzanator here with The Peaks. Sup? And we're continuing with our Hearts of Iron 4 guide as a historical ish Germany. Um, so we're laying. We're at the point. Wanna, you might want to slow the game down. I'm lagging. Okay. Um, I'll slow it down to speed three. Um, okay. That's good. It gives me time to talk about it, talk about stuff. But um, so one of the first things that'll happen in just about in every game, historical focus or not, is the Spanish Civil War. Um, and that is important if you're a fascist or a communist, because obviously you want your guy. Okay, well we can pause because now we can appoint a new advisor. Um. So, what I would do is, uh, honestly, I would either, you want to go for the other silent workhorse, or for, like, Heinz Guderian. Uh, Heinz. You want to get Heinz? I got it. Go for it. Where is he? Uh, Theorist. So, the middle line uh, all the way on the right. That's why. So, there you go. so now that we have him hired, we'll get some uh, some army experience every day, which is good because you know that allows us to either make better tank variants or uh, give our change our division templates, which we will want to do eventually. Um, we're doing okay. Okay, so notice how the unassigned divisions came up. So I'm gonna pause. You see how that came up? Unassigned no. divisions. One of our troops that we were training has oh, okay. it has deployed, right? Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw him in his own army, put him under this other field uh, other field marshal. I'm gonna give him a garrison in Berlin, and I'm gonna tell him to exercise. Okay. So that and then I'm gonna go back to the so. What that means is he's just gonna chill around Berlin and he's gonna exercise and if you click on him notice how he is a different emblem than everyone else he's trained and not a regular right okay you you, you know what I'm talking about yeah the icon to the right of like the helmet and everything so uh -huh. by exercising him he'll build up his experience which is the yellow bar that's currently empty so it's a black bar right now um, he'll build up experience until he's a regular and then we can assign him to an army now, we notice how we have the training army. It'll get annoying for every time a soldier deploys, an, a division deploys, to add them to this army, right? Yes. But there's a way to have them go directly from the deployment screen to assign them to an army. So open the deployment screen. What, what, what's that again? That's the tank with the arrow. Uh, shortcut U. Alrighty. Okay, so notice on on the t on the little button that says where they deploy Brandenburg, right? Mm, yes. You see that little circle to the left of it? Uh-huh. Click it. Click on that and then click on the portrait of the purple army. And what that'll do is it assigns the divisions in order to go to once they're trained. So there you go. So do that for everyone. So the infantry divisions as well. Or the, the motorized divisions. There you go. So now whenever a soldier, whenever one of those divisions deploys, they will go into this army. Now one thing is we will have to check with the army to see who's ready to be trained and assigned and not periodically. But that's, you know, that's not too hard to do. It's um, a good thing to do while you, you know, are in this early game build-up stage. Or for me, you know, I do it at least uh, between videos or, you know, whenever there's there's breaks in the game, that sort of thing. All right. So now we, we have more divisions. They are training up. Um, you can see he's in Berlin. He's, like, doing, like, crunches or just kind of looks like he's throwing up, honestly. Um, <laughs> you know, and they'll, they'll just go and they'll exercise and they will, uh, you know, do drills. And uh, if you click on them, notice how they have that yellow bars kind of filling up a little bit. Yeah. So once that yellow bar gets to full, they'll they'll then be regulars, which um, if you mouse over it in one of our armies, being a regular gives plus 25% modifier in combat. So it's definitely worth doing. You know, it's not the end of the world if you can't do it, but you can definitely do it. Now, one, another thing you can do is go into the deployment screen. Yep. 
notice how right between add unit and the X to stop it, that button lit lit up. The it's if you mouse over, it says click to deploy all lines instantly. Okay, well we got national oh. fungus. If you click on um, so if you click on that like I did, and you I mouse over, attention. if you look at them, they're instead of being trained, they're green. If you click on the the training army. Uh, 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 oh, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna change them to uh, a, a yellow a pitchfork because they're peasants. So you notice how they have a different experience icon. Yeah. So that basically you can force them to deploy earlier, and they'll just have to train from a further point back. Okay. So um, go ahead and uh, pick another national focus. Um, Details. I would go. Grosser, um, whatever. Uh, Grosham of Verschaft. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Why not? Go for it. Or what's West, What's West Wall? It's not. It's close enough to West World. West Wall adds uh, forts along the French border. That one's a smart one too. I mean, you're gonna want to. You're gonna want to do both of them. But West Wall is basically the Germans' response to the Maginot. France can't do anything anyways, but... Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, yeah. Okay, fine. They're, they're on historical, so they won't do anything. But you do want to do that before you start the war, because, you know, you don't want them to push you back. That, that'd be bad. Be a little embarrassing, honestly. Um, All so, right. West Wall, that, there we go. And uh, let's unpause and keep going. So... He's doing jumping jacks now. Oh yeah, no, they, they'll 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 do push-ups, jumping jacks, kind of like you know, look down their rifle, like you know, every like forty-year-old man at a gun show. It's like, oh yeah, you know, just play with the action a little bit, make sure it's working, and uh, you know, they they have some interesting animations. Um, but yeah, now you're just watching them train up and uh, keep on keeping on. So. Um, they're, they're building our refineries, which is good. So notice how our, um, notification that we're hurting on oil went away. Uh-huh, because we got more refineries. Because we built a refinery. Okay, so now we have a technology, or we have a couple technologies. Um, I'm going to pause here. So, go to the industry tab in technologies. Okay. Notice, so you see how on top of a lot of them they have those, those, like, orange arrows and 50 percent uh-huh that's a research bonus so by taking the four-year plan we got two research bonuses for industry techs right yes so now what this allows us we can get them faster or remember how ahead of time techs have a penalty uh-huh well that penalty is not nearly as severe as um the 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 boost so we could get something ahead of time and it would still be cheaper than if we waited and got it at regular right yeah so you see improved machine tools the 1937 tech mm -hmm. we could take that and it would be cheaper than it would be normally because the bonus in this situation outweighs the um the ahead of time penalty so i like to do that you know i like to if you can get text ahead of time more power to you um, that's good because, you know, you get it before everyone else. So go ahead. You wouldn't take the synthetic oil? Um, stuff? if you do that, what it does is it increases the output of your synthetic refineries. We can do that preemptively if we want to, or we can just do it kind of reactionary up to you. Uh, okay. Let's go with the machine tools. I think two of them, uh, got done. Yeah. Yeah. We got, we got another space. Okay. So, let's do so that, then, um, so let's talk about the industry one. Notice how there's like a little black box with two arrows. Those two branches uh -huh. are mutually exclusive. You can oh. either do concentrated industry or dispersed industry. Concentrated industry, they both, what both of them do is increase output and increase the max number of factories in a state. So it adds more building slots. The difference okay. is concentrated has a greater overall factory output, whereas uh, it has plus 15% per tech, whereas Dispersed only has plus 10% per tech. 
but it has some other bonuses. It makes them less vulnerable to strategic bombing. It increases conversion speed, which we'll talk about, increases efficiency base, and increases efficiency retention. So if you go to your production screen, you notice how at the top of each line, like at the infantry cone, there's like a bar that's mostly gray and then partially red. Uh -huh. That's the production efficiency. So the longer you have factories building rifles, the better they'll get at becoming rifles, at building rifles. If you yeah. A, so you don't, you know, you don't want a factory to build a 109 one day, a Panzer the next, and how you know you want that you want specialized factories. So yeah. There, so notice how our DO 22 it's completely red because there are no factories assigned and all of that. So as time goes on, your factories as they're left to one line, they'll gain efficiency. Whenever you research a new tech, so whenever we research a new level of infantry equipment, it'll kind of reset the efficiency. You know, you got to change the machines from building, you know, car 98s to building MP40s or, you know, whatever the new infantry equipment is. You know, you have to switch out your equipment from building Panzer 2s to building Panzer 3s or what have you, right? Do so, I want dispersed industry? What do you normally do? I don't only do dispersed industry because the bonuses to the to the efficiency the efficiency bonuses um i like those i think those far outweigh concentrated industry so it's personal preference it all depends on your play style i like i like i end up spending a lot of army and air and naval experience building um uh adding variants so you know i'll panzer 2 panzer 2a panzer 2b as i get army experience and i make them better so I'm switching my lines a lot, and so that extra efficiency, growth, and base is a huge bonus in my opinion. It's when are we going to invade Austria? What's that? When are we going to invade Austria? Um, the, 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 they'll just give up. Okay, so notice how the dis so um, so let's pause. Notice how the decision button is flashing red, and the icon event or decision timeout came up. Wait, what? You, you see the icon with, like, the gavel and, like, the top stopwatch? Gavel? Oh, there it is. Okay. Yep. So that means our MIFO bills are due soon. Okay. So we can either renew MIFO bills or we can let them pass. Renew? Renew. You want to renew them until you can't afford to renew them. So... How do you, how do you, how do you renew? Yeah, you just did. You just click, you click on the envelope. Okay. And then you just keep going. So every time that shows up, you want to renew your MIFO bills. That'll give us... Uh, notice our consumer good factories are at zero, which is amazing. That's like impossible to do. That allows, you know, that allows our glorious Reich the ability to focus our industry on building up the war machine instead of paying back the evil capitalists, the evil democracies that took what was rightfully ours in the Treaty of Versailles. Sure. Or, you know, the unfair treaty of Versailles. So, there we go. That is that. Um, and so, notice how our army experience is slowly ticking up. It was at 5, now it's at 7. Uh-huh. That, that is partially thanks to your buddy Hines, and partially due to the fact that our troops are exercising. So <laughs> Sit-ups. So, the more sit-ups you do, the better panzers you can build. Basically is what it says. So... There we go. Um, come on, Spain, do something. Mm -hmm, Francisco Franco. Da, 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 Francisco Franco. Da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. You can do the Inspector mm -hmm. Gadget parody. <laughs> I might have might, might, might put that might put that in the backlog for future video ideas. To get super <laughs> copyright infringement. But anyhow. So, um, let's see, what else can we do? Um, as, as your factories build stuff, or as your civilian factories build stuff, once they finish, it'll show a notification, notification whenever you have new stuff to assign. Um, and notice how under the decision tree, the decision button, there's like the three. It's yeah. Like, that just shows you have enough political power for three separate decisions not all you can't choose all of them but there are three decisions which you can select um 
That's because it only it that just okay. So Italy won there. This is a peace treaty notification. Basically, Italy ate Ethiopia. Okay. And they got all their crappy African rifles. So okay. Good job, Mussolini. I hope you're proud of yourself. Um. So whenever wars end, you see those. Um. Whenever your war ends, it'll show that and uh, it. So uh, the world world tension changed a little bit um, because of that. But nothing, nothing major, you know. Italy at war with Ethiopia. No one cares about Ethiopia. I mean, they were like an actual like center of. Okay, anyways. Yeah, we're, we. I'm not gonna get into this debate now. We, I mean, we are, you know, the most important world power, considering we we start all the shit that's about to happen. Okay. So. Um, if we go speed four, do you continue to lag behind or? Yeah, I'm lagging bad. Okay. So, but you don't lag behind on speed three? No. Okay. And um, that's normal. Uh, most multiplayer games I've seen, what they'll do is they'll just play speed three the whole game. Okay. Peace, war, whatever, speed three. Which is good. You know, it gives you enough time to micromanage some, but not, you know, too absurd. Um... And also, you know, peacetime. If you're in peace, it doesn't go too slowly. Oh, it still, still goes kind of slow. This is going to be a boring episode. Well, I mean, uh, what do we do? We talked about, like, exercising and all that sort of stuff. Um, yeah. We're, we're, you want to end it now and then start? Oh, that'd be difficult to do. No. Um, I mean, some of our just... Some of our troops are almost ready. Um, I mean, you know, we can look at the decisions. So, you notice how it's four now? We don't have to wait for the MIFO bills to show up. We could select it now if we wanted to. Now that... So you just have to check every so many days. So if you want to renew the MIFO bills now, you can. Or if you just want to wait for the notification. Yeah. I like to, you know, just go for it whenever. Um, we're about to get a political power for another advisor. Okay, so we got another technology. Um... Right next to construction, there's Excavation 1. Under the Industry tab. Oh. Excavation 1, okay. Yep, that that's a good one because, you know, just like how infrastructure gives you, building more infrastructure gives you more resources, uh, the Excavation <laughs> techs give you more resources. And if you have high enough Excavation techs, there's some events that show up that say, like, develop this resource deposit more or whatever. Right? Okay. Okay, so there's that, um, and some of our divisions are almost trained up. Not quite, but once they are, we can assign them to a different army. And uh, that is actually all the that that, that that this is a good stopping point. So um, again, we're we're we're, we're going kind of slow. We're taking it nice and slow, but you know that's, that's the good, great thing about this game. It's um, essentially it's a turn-based game. Each turn is an hour, and you have rolling time though, right? So yeah. you could theoretically pause and reassess everything every hour if you wanted to, or you could run speed five and just like lol 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 lol, lol through you know the years. So um, mm. that's a good stopping point. Uh, so yeah, we kind of talked about um, you know hired more advisors, looking at techs and everything, and tech bonuses. So um, that, I think that's a, a good thing. Uh, next uh, one of these days, uh, Franco will uh, make a move. But uh, maybe it'll be tomorrow. But anyways, that is it for this episode. Hope this guide was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. I will try and answer as quickly and as accurately as possible. Um, if this guide was helpful, please leave a like. Consider subscribing to the channel. Follow me on Twitter. And check out my Patreon page. Thank you all so much for watching. Until the next one, this is Mikey Panzer signing out. See you, nerds.